Hello, I did want to do a short video on, or a follow-up video, I guess, on the um, array on Unistrut that I've done. Uh, so the way I ran it, because I did have a few questions, but the, the way I ran it was specifically because they are portrait ways or sideways. So uh, you may run things slightly different um, if you're going to flip them. So uh, I will uh, show you the clips I used. And if I had any clue on how to put the link from Amazon on there, I might try that. But these are what I use to hold the top and bottom. So it'll be obvious if you're doing it um, why you would use those. But uh, So it's almost like a chalk for a wheel. I mean, you need something to hold the bottom uh, and top. So then the centers, um, and again, this there's a lot of these videos online, but these, uh, this was sitting in the ground, so it's a little dirty, but these spring nuts... Um, that you can get for Unistrut uh, is what you would use for the center panels if you were going to do them the way I did. Uh, so it basically holds a nut into the Unistrut down below. And then there's some square nuts you can get online if you want to. Uh, or you may even have them at your local hardware, but they didn't have any. Um, and really, you just need something to pin it to the Unistrut. So I just used a, a round washer and uh i think these are half inch yeah half inch by like two and a half uh depending on the thickness of your panels uh bolts into those uh wing nuts or these uh not wing nuts but spring nuts for the unistrut uh underneath they do have 20 foot stretches of this at some places they did not where i was so um I just used a, a splice. They sell these, and then I welded the back side a little bit. Um, and let's see. So, uh, again, this is specific to the portrait ways, but uh, because we were running them this way, um, I used the L brackets like this. I saw another guy do that on YouTube. And uh, just put it at the specific angle. And then, uh, I don't even know if you could call that welding, but... <laughs> It's stuck on there, so I, I did that to, to add a little stability to it also. Um, and then these were just two different series that I ran, and so I, I paralleled them in the shop, so you can't get much easier as far as wiring. Uh, I just did a, a series of four and a series of four, and then uh, everything runs in there, and I paralleled them in the shop. And uh, what else? Oh, uh, lightning protection. Um, they have these on Amazon also. Um, really nice little lugs that you can put in. And then this is 6 gauge uh, braided um, copper. And I have it grounded um, out here. The array itself is grounded also. So that that's actually, there's not too much work involved with that, but definitely worth it. Uh, Braided copper, you can't get it at some places. You can use solid also. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, you know, overall pretty simple. This can be done. It's a, a one-person job pretty much except for just putting the panels on and that only took 20 minutes. So, because the way that I put the bolts... Let's see if you can see one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's very simple construction holds them down to the inner strut nothing moves everything's sturdy so uh, if uh if anybody has any other questions just let me know uh, th these are um you know they're they're a lot less than you'd get or pay for a uh, typical array i would think but wood may be cheaper um because of the price of metal at this point I just, I don't know. I wanted to try something different. I did wood on the last one, and um, uh, yeah, it was just, I guess, more of like a preference thing. But uh, if it's, if you can have access, I've seen people use uh, sign posts, and those were really sturdy for the, the legs. Um, you could just use square or pipe steel. There's a bunch of different options. But uh, yeah, this is what I went with, and it was, it was not bad at all. Uh, just, you know, a few evenings. It didn't take me that long. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, put them in the comments down below. Thanks.